Welcome to 5 Minutes to Code, Programming Basics with your host Matthew C. Applegate. In this series, we are going to look at the fundamentals of computer programming. So whether you are hoping to program in Python, to code in C Sharp, or to develop in Java, these short guides should help you get to grips with the basics to get started. You won't need to download or install any software, so just sit back and enjoy. In this series, we are going to be looking at sequence, selection, and iteration, as well as pseudocode and flowcharts. Today, we are going to look at sequence. So let's look at this in more detail. Sequencing is super important in life, not just in computer programming. Take this example. It's a bit extreme, but you'll get the point. 1. Make a pie. 2. Turn on the oven. 3. Eat the pie. 4. Take the pie out of the oven. 5. Put the pie in the oven. Depending on the type of pie you are making, this could be really bad for you. So sequence is super important sometimes. Let's look at this example once again. Now tasks 1 and 2 are possibly interchangeable. It might be a bit wasteful energy wise, but at least you won't be ill from eating an undercooked pie. So in this case, Sequence isn't really that important. However, tasks 3, 4, and 5 are not interchangeable and could result in a culinary disaster. Here's another example, this time in Python. A equals 10. B equals 20. D equals C divided by 2. And C equals A plus B. This program won't actually run. Why? Well, it has no idea of the value of C is. A is 10 and B is 20, but D is C divided by 2. But wait, what, what is C? The program will get to line 3 and get a bit upset. It will give an error, something like name C is not defined. Let's fix it. Now it will give us the average of A and B. OK, let's look at a logic error in processing. We want to draw a white rectangle with a red outline, but for some reason we get the white rectangle, just not the red outline. The code we have is fill 255 255 255 rect 100 100 50 50 stroke 255 00. 0. So the fill command says to the brush, hey, we want to draw all future shapes with a white filling. The next command, rect, draws the rectangle 100 pixels across and 100 pixels down on the screen. The size of the rectangle is 50 pixels by 50 pixels. And finally, stroke tells processing we want the outlines of all future shapes to be red. Do you get it? Yeah, we have drawn the rectangle before we have told it what color we want the outline to be. Let's fix that. There we go. Now everything is set up first before we draw the rectangle. OK, these examples are pretty simple, but hopefully it illustrates the point that sequence in computer programming is very important. This is just a short guide to sequence, selection, and iteration. How you combine the three principles will affect the outcome of your program. There are literally an infinite possibility of combinations to make and I look forward to hearing about what you have made with your code. Be sure to check out the other videos in the Programming Basics series as they will give you a good foundation to get started. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, be sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video and comment below if you have found it useful. If you want to get started in programming right away, be sure to check out my computer art programming tutorials here. Until next time, thanks for watching 5 Minutes to Code.